I'm going to be doing an Isle of Lost Skull solo tutorial. Um, mostly because my friend wanted me to do one, but I'm going to be doing that, and hopefully I can help you guys out. You'll learn something. I'm not the best at this game, so don't take my tips over everybody. If there's somebody better than me, then obviously take the tips over them. But this will help you out. It'll be for mostly beginners, and try to make it as simple as possible. So, let's do this. It's a really easy quest to so it's not going to be hard. I'll be teaching the spawns and everything. Game on. So this is the hardest part of the game right here. It's grabbing the stool. If you can do that, you're a legend. You're done. If you can do that, you can do the whole quest. Especially if you can hit the lock. <laughs> get a stool on your back, you know. And then... Two of these. Very simple. You block, you hit, you block, you hit. So I'm with and then once you get those two, this guy will spawn, this guy will spawn. Also teach you guys how to throw a stool. For PlayStation, it might be different for PC, I'm not sure. But you just want to underhand it pretty hard, straight as the enemy. Very simple. There you, go. you can get two stools for the next area if you want, if they exist. I never got that one, but okay. Ah, uh, yes. I got those two, whatever, I'm being an idiot, okay. Once you get right about here, or I think it's here? No, it's here. It'll spawn these two guys. Hit. Hit, simple. Grab these. A stool, some swords, simple. So there's two guys in here. One here and one behind that pole I can't see. There's also a guy back there, but you don't have to trigger him. Once you kill these two, it'll spawn the guy right there. So what you can do is run and kill him as he's spawning, and I'll spawn a guy back here. Simple. Make sure you always block, then hit. There's a chance they'll go through your block. I think that's not gonna happen, and it's very annoying when it does. But whatever. If you get three stools going into here, there's about five enemies that spawn. Once you kill three of them, it. All right. So there's four enemies that spawn, and once you kill three of them, it'll spawn the fifth one. And then, he's back there right now, see him? There you go, simple. You can get a few pans. You can always block, it's like a shield for him. You can just run through, through here, blocking the enemies. You can just grab a pan, and go right back for these guys. Make sure you're out of range for those, and then it's simple. Make sure you're always moving. By the way, if you go through a door, your pans will actually... When I load, regenerate, it's really cool. What I like to do is throw my pans in here, grab two stools, kill that guy, kill that guy, and use a sword for these guys. You can just go over here and get them as they're spawning. Did I get two swans there? That doesn't normally happen. You can get your pants back. So I would say that this is basically the hardest part except for boss, so. Yeah. You can, hit, you can actually hit this out there, but if you let it hit your pan, it'll explode, so don't let that happen. You kill those three, um, and you come over here and kill these two and grab another pan. This is really simple, you just jump up here, whack. Whack, whack. And you can, whack. And you can wait for him to fall, come underneath, jump behind him. Boom. You can just kill these guys with a stool. Kill this guy with a stool. And then if you kill this guy with your pan, you have just enough durability to kill all these guys. You can just rush up, always moving, use as a shield. Just kill these guys with pans. And then those five are probably the hardest part. You can bring them behind here, as you're always watching out for those guys. Pop, pop, pop. Just enough durability. You can grab your two stools. And then you can continue. I say it's better to just be in here. So what I like to do, in a casual, is just bring these guys back here. Make sure you're always blocking those guys. And you can come in through here. Make sure 
We can wear these washers back here. Where's guy back here? And boom. I like to kill this guy with one. Because you have that sword over there. So I'm going to teach you a really easy way to do this part. See these guys? You can come through. And then just hit these guys. Throw a jug at the ground. So yeah. You can come out, see where they are. Oh, I didn't kill them, so. And after you kill them, you'll get these guys. So you can bring them into this corner and kill them. And this is it. This is basically... If you're up there, it's pretty hard to kill all the enemies. But if you're not up there, it's pretty easy. So you can just wait here. Count to ten, I guess. And then... Bop. If you're a tall duck, don't kill yourself. My character's a little taller than usual for some reason. So just make sure you don't murk yourself, especially if you're freezing. Because there's jokes for days in here. And then it, it seems like nothing's left up there, basically. It's just that guy. You can extend by, so what you're going to do is you're going to press the button that drops it, but hold your trigger. Then you grab with the other hand, which doesn't lock it, out, real quickly, and grab. And you can do this. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Got him. See? Simple. This next part is actually kind of hard in my opinion, so. For beginners, super hard part. It's ship. Let's do it. I like to bring stools into this next level. Wherever there are stools, you'll see me like to bring them. You block this bottler guy. Make sure you're blocking down there. Like you can underneath. Then you're under here. You can just hope that one guy comes and pieces his little head out. Usually they won't. If they do, be careful. They have broken hitboxes. They could hit you. You just drop them on top of them. This will spawn this too. So you can grab these. Grab the stool. I was gonna get them, but I don't think that's smart yet. So you just come back to the front of the ship. Block. And boom. Simple. And these guys should be a little bit down by now. You mark, you mark. And you can get these guys as they're spawning. But if that happens, that's not good. So you can always just come back around and come to the front of the ship. And make sure you want to be... Come on. There you go. You want to be on that guy. Then you're all... And then you just aren't going to hit the bridge down until you kill these. If, you're, if you want, you can switch back and forth from each cannon. You don't really have to. And once you're ready, you knock the bridge down. You can actually stick your face through the cannon. Let's see, which... I used to do. Now I don't. See, when you see this guy, if he does that, you can back up. So you don't kill yourself. Miss that guy. You're gonna wanna target the jugger whenever he spawns up there. So let's just wait for him to come to the edge. everyone don't die to here oh yeah you come up on the pad you just wait you can wait you can duck under cuz I don't feel like waiting now on the port plunder port plunder is pretty easy so yeah We'll just come around here. You've got a whole bunch of cover and a whole bunch of guns. Let me recalibrate. Nope, it was fine. So you can start stocking up on guns. You just throw all your guns forward. That's it. You're ready to go. 
You can stay behind this barrel. Don't ever jump to peek because you can't cancel a jump. I'll just shoot over. You're always back here. Look, your gun's hoarded up. Right. Sorry about that, jump. I'm gonna try not to do that. I'm just so used to it. You run forward. You spawn. You can come right back here. Okay, if it's back there, you can you can kind of move up back here if you want. See, that's why you don't jump. But whatever. Here you go. And then what you're gonna do? Run up here. As long as you have them spawned, you don't really you don't need to kill them back there. If you're always moving, you should be fine. Just don't walk in a straight line where they can shoot. That's exactly why I stopped him. And make sure you get that guy immediately. Because he can hit you pretty easily, but you can't hit his head. And then there's that timer which will spawn those guys, so I'm gonna move back a little bit. Kill the gunners because they can hit you over here. <laughs> the swashbucklers will come over there. Got him. There you go. So I'm gonna grab a few more guns. Have yourself a ton. You just shoot. It's pretty simple to be honest here. Come around the corner. Boom. You can get that guy. And you can get that guy. Then when it comes to that joker, you just really just come over here and And boom, you're good. Stock up on three guns. If you can't do three guns, well, that's just fine. You can also use one. Here you go. You kill that guy. And make sure you're always using cover. So you can always just duck down. As long as you're able to duck well, you should be fine. But if not, you can always duck. That's always an option. Always target the gunners unless the spot buffer are get close. A good place I found to come is up here. You can actually go up. Okay, you'll know when it's right or not to jump because you can't just never jump, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna recalibrate real quick. My tracking's off, so. Don't recalibrate into water. Water kills you. It's not fun. It's really not fun when water kills you. So yeah, Port Plunder, part two, hard, I would say, it's definitely a hard one. You come in here, you spawn, and then you just run back, because they'll just walk forward. Stick your hand around. You can all, oh, also another form of reloading, you can just flip. You can just stick your gun around. You can work. There you go. You can grab another gun from back here. no guns. So if you ever are out of the guns, you can always come up to this box. That guy's annoying. Boom, boom. You got a whole bunch of guns here for use. You edge forward. Try to get that guy. If you can't, just keep shooting at him. I got my first try, but my aim's pretty decent, so... You can just come over here. Once you kill those guys, you can actually come right up here and kill that guy there and then, while you're waiting for these three see I'm not doing a great job of telling you the spawns but you don't really need the spawns here and then just you can come here and spawn this um that guy so I like to come over here keep running kill one then you kill the other because it's true you can also always kill that guy, he can't really see you. But don't kill that guy until you kill both of these. And what I like to do is come up here. Let's do that. Stay up here. 
See, they're all underneath me. See them? Vibing. So you can just boom. Make sure you're tracing. Simple. Get two guns. Get the jungles where it gets hard. So yeah. Be super careful on the givers. Don't hit their gib with a anything. Cause it'll kill you. So make sure when you're killing you get nothing that will hit him and make you die. So yeah. I miss that. Alright. Once you jump over, you can inch forward. Kill one, kill the other. And then make sure you're staying out of the way of the gunners. You're always tracing. You can kill the two splashers, you can kill the gunners, and the gunners are easily avoidable as long as you're always tracing. And then where it gets hard, you're gonna wanna have two guns fully loaded for this wave. There's four enemies. One jugger and three swashers. Depending on your RNG, it can be very risky. But that's it. I have pretty decent RNG. So for these two, I like to come up here, jump, and try to target the, the jugger. And then that guy. You can just stay back, snipe a little bit. Point. And where are they? One right there. One back there. One right here. And it's just onto these guys. So you take one, you throw it back. Make sure you don't get caught by them. Something that you can do is stay up somewhere like here. Well, no, you can't do that because they can't throw them up there. So you just throw the bomb and make sure you're completely out of range. Yeah. Don't get killed by Garrett. Grab his. Throw it right back at him. Used to be able to put the bomb in their cage, but you can't do that anymore. So, yeah. You take it back, you throw it back. Gone. Just try it. Didn't even stand a chance. Like, come on, get on my level. Get on. You know what I mean? It's not hard to get on my level. All you gotta do is throw a bomb at him. Come back here. You can just walk across. You don't need to jump over this. Take some jugs. Make sure you're super careful with them. I see this. Alright. Normally, what I would always do is take, um, a, uh, one of those up there, but I don't recommend. So what you should do is come up here and spawn. Here. I will teach you what I just did and how once I get these enemies done. So definitely kill the gunner first. And then the bottler. You can kill the bottlers. It's really easy. You just make sure they all shoot. You can grab yourself some guns. Jump around the corner. Boop. Pop. Giddy. Pop. There you go. So what I just did here was you jump onto, onto the boat. You can come from any angle. You jump behind the tree. Then you can't jump here. So what you gotta do is you gotta jump on the tree. Then you land about here, you jump around, up onto this, just come here to spawn them, and then you can just come right back down. Very simple. Break that jug. Don't die to it. You grab a gun, you come up here. Kill that bottler. Kill that jugger. Simple. Easy as can be. Then what you want to do is you want to come back here, and then jump down here. Simple. Shoot! They can kill that. You can jump back up there. But I haven't been able to do it recently. So I'm not going to. I got myself into a pretty garbage situation. Whoa. Alright. Just be real careful here. And you can grab a gun. Boom. And make sure you kill the jugger first because he's bad. See, next time here. If you ever do it, do not do what I just did. I just spawned them all, which is very stupid of me. So I got myself into a pretty bad situation. 
don't do what I did, but whatever. You can come back here. If you do end up doing that, you come back here. Don't get killed. You can grab a jug. You can come back here. But whatever, don't do what I did. And you got this cover here. But what I what I did was very stupid, so yeah. Jump here and make sure you're moving away from him. And kill those two. Back in place. But what I did was stupid. I'll tell you what it was a better idea to do instead of that once I kill this guy. Alright. Alright, so what I did, what I should have done, is kill those guys. Once you come back here, kill this guy and this guy. You get the gunner's gun. You can, you can kill him. Kill this guy. I'm gonna kill this jugger. I'm gonna kill this guy. Make sure you don't get hit by the gibber. Always dodge the gibber. And then you can throw jug there and there at him, or just grab this thing and throw it back. Nice and it's simple. And then once you, what you want to do next is you can come here using this cover, not for them to see you. Kill, kill. Make sure you're going back and forth or duck and dodge. And then you can go over and kill those two. Don't fall into that. It's an infinite loop, and you can't get out. That's what should have been better. So right about now, when they right before the stream, you can jump in and you can see. If you're on PlayStation, don't take pictures, you might crash. Cave is one of the easier ones. Grab the torch. There you go. You just, it's really simple. I highly recommend using the blender bus for here. shorter but two is easy you jump over here and grab the blender bus is very good for this level you just come through here very simple so you don't want to stay back here you definitely want to rush always keeping if I could get out that'd be great Always keeping the torch at your forehead because that's where the bottles will hit, but don't count on it. That shouldn't have happened. Make sure you always have the flint lock on your back and kill these two. You can, you can come, always come back here. But don't count on that either because they'll follow you. Right. This isn't very smooth, but yeah. You never have to, um. You never have to, um. What you should do next, instead of what I did, is come through here and just lure the bottle lures forward instead of. Uh, spawning. Here, I'll just show you what I should have done in a second. You can grab a jug and kill. Alright, there you go. I should have came, aggravated them, and just came back here, blocking like that. And then, um, then when they get close enough, I could have came back here and stuff like that. And I could blast them with the blunderbuss. It'll spawn two more. I could have just chilled back here. So what I should have done was aggro them, come back here, blast them with the blunderbuss. The other two would come, blast them with the blunderbuss. You come up, and then, simple. Then the um, then you come up, spawn these guys, you can kind of like blast them with the blunder bus. Always block and parry, just, it's kind of easy. You just come back here, make sure you're out of the way for that guy. Make sure you're always there. Then these two will spawn, you can just in this corner, block, hit, hit. Simple. And this guy, make sure you run away. Do that. Another thing you can do is jump underneath, grab the stool, hit. So yeah, something you can do. You can climb up through the back, not through the sides, and you can just jump up here. All right, this quite super super easy. Put that on your back. There you go. You got some guns. Let's keep going. Make sure you never, ever pick up a jug and kill yourself. 
Just picking up a jug and killing yourself will cause your death. Believe it or not. For some reason, cave is nerve wracking, but it's really easy. So yeah, I'm gonna do this legitimate way. Come down here. And shoot. 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 Even if you were to miss every single shot, you can always use fish to yeah. block. Yeah. Block. Block. Yeah. So what you're gonna want to do is to not trigger bombs and just come straight through here. You can come through here. Not trigger any bombs here. It's simple. So what you're gonna want to do is run forward and try to get this guy as he's going. And make sure you're always dodging that guy. You can come up, go. And you have plenty of guns to go. Simple. While you're here, you can put it up. I'm gonna tell you how to do both ways. I'm also gonna tell you how to trigger no bombs here. You can come up here, come through here. Come through here, it's really easy. So triggering bombs is scaly. And you want to go to the cannon. And for these guys, once you kill two of them, it'll spawn guys over there. And then you want to run back to the cannon. Duck under that bullet. And come to the gun. Yeah. Make sure you're always moving so you don't get hit by him. So that's the normal one. And I'm also going to shoot you, and then you can just go back down and get the puzzle pieces, you know, and then come back and go back up. So here, you can get your bombs. Yes, get your bombs. You can come here, and you can go back up, and you can go around and jump down. But I'm also going to teach you guys how to get back up. You can just come through here, if you can. So say you don't want to kill the top enemies, you can... Usually you can. You might have to trigger that bomb. Okay, whatever. Forget that. You can jump over here. You can do that. There you go. You put in your pieces. Yo, I'd grab three guns if I were you. And you can just... You're off. You can continue. What's really scary is that bottler, because he can just snipe you as you're going up, so you want to snipe the bottler, if you can. You've got a whole bunch of guns, you can just keep sniping things. You can get, but you can't go halfway through the gold pile, or it will spawn the rest of the enemies on the canners, which can kill you over here. So you just stay back, you can always come up here as a sniping platform. Make sure you get that jugger while you're at it. There you go. And then you can rush up, kill that guy who's spawning, you kill your guy there, and you kill that guy there. Alright, tutorial. In the no middle of the word treasure, you let it. With my treasure. And then he'll usually just stand up on his feet, so he's gonna stand up right there. You hit him. So, see, I missed there, but that's fine. I normally don't hit all three. You can always man the cannons, but if you ever start to get overwhelmed. Alright, that's about there. And I will tell you, show you where to go now. You can come back here. Yeah. Guess the boss can't see you here. Come on. 
See this guy's super. See, they're being super eloquent. Come on. It's super scary when they're glitching on you. Usually they'll come single file, but they're not right now. If they're going through your block, you can just whack and then usually they'll stop doing that. Sometimes their hitbox will actually go through the block and kill you, so be careful. Alright, you can be over there to hit the shot if you only hit him once, but since I'm here, I got to recalibrate, and since I hit him twice. Come on, go back. Boom, I can be back here. And once the boss comes into his rapid fire mode, he gets ready to shoot, you run. That's it. You, I got, once all, every single enemy is killed, um, you basically have to get ready for the boss. He gets his cannon ready, you run, dude. Cause the hitbox is huge. Make sure you're always getting that out. So you only have your fresh swords. The boss should be coming out any moment now, so. Make sure you're killing them as quickly as possible. Before the other ones get nearby. Oh, and it'd be nice to have a gun on your back, just in case one gets stuck. Oh, there's more. I didn't know there's more. I thought that was it. God save guys. Alright, so once they call up, hit as quickly as possible so you don't have to. And the boss should be roaming right now. I'm sure the boss is roaming right now. But don't peek because they'll see you. Alright, so what you want to do? You run out. Then he, he starts, you dip. You can just aim it right here and keep shooting. And eventually he'll run into it. That's it. You kill boss. You just let you run. You let you run. And one of these times you'll get lucky and he'll run into it. There you go, got a potion. And that is, I'd say, the beginner's tutorial to um, solo I Lost Skulls. Tell me if you want to do a speedrun tutorial, so speedrun, because I'd happily do that. But yeah, here you go, nice.